So today is museum day and I have quite a bit lined up. I'm gonna, of course, first stop by to get some coffee and then make another pit stop to Carrie's apartment because I haven't been to her brownstone. And when I say Carrie, I mean Sex in the City Carrie because I love Sex in the City and I just, I have to, I have to do it. I have to, I'm like out here and I haven't even gone once to go see it. And it's just kind of, it's an obligation at this point, like just to see it. And then after that, I think I'm gonna go to the Seagram building. Super iconic, still haven't gone to see that. So I'm gonna get going now, but I'm so happy that I get to take you along with me. thinking that it's gonna be a little bit cold <laughs> let me say autumn is here it's very chilly but I'm hoping that this will hold me up for the rest of the day I mean it's not that thin but it's not that thick either I'm hoping for the best okay I'm gonna go into Saturdays and go get some coffee it's like part cafe part retail latte again i just can't not get them even though it's freaking cold outside and i should get a hot one but now i'm gonna go to the apple store to see if i can get a portable charger because i'm gonna be using this one a lot I'm just walking down the street and everybody is in oversized sweaters with a drink in their hand. We all look the same. I'm a few blocks away from Carrie's house and this neighborhood is gorgeous. asked me to take a photo of them and I took like 20 different ones hopefully they like one of them but I forgot to ask them to take a photo of me <laughs> when you're traveling alone it's like mm, I have to like prop the camera up awkwardly somewhere and then just put this off timer mm, I missed my chance oh well Can you see the beauty of everything here? I love it. Love it. And now I'm gonna go to the Seagram building, but I just couldn't help myself but to walk around this neighborhood still more. I don't wanna leave. I think I'm gonna come back. And it's like October and everyone has like decorations for Halloween.
Okay, now we are walking to the Seagram building. Architects Mies van der Rohe and Philip Johnson. Passing through a lemon orchard. Oh my goodness! I have never seen this building. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, it's gorgeous. saw a lot of that in Mexico City like facades that were just completely tiled and there were many many tiles like I don't know an inch it looked beautiful to me and I love that they used it here in the ceiling so cute what a cute little date they're having right now I'm jealous First time I came to New York was a year ago. I had never really wanted, like I didn't understand the hype until I got here and literally just walked out of the Uber and I was like, okay, I get it. The energy is just buzzing. <laughs> and it's fucking beautiful here. Okay, so I purchased this mini portable charger which is gonna come in handy the only thing is that it's only half charged but I really need to use it now because I literally just spent a lot of oh my gosh I'm so not careful when I'm opening things like this I spent most of the charge recording the Seagram building right now let's charge it of ticket kiosks. starting to get chilly and I only had like a sweater out 
and I feel like I'm gonna need to cover up a bit more these next few days because whoo I feel it I feel it but it was a good day and I did not get to go to all the places I was so hopeful for because I ended up meeting up with my cousin pretty late like at around two o'clock and then we went to go get some bagels so then we caught up over bagels and then after that we ended up going to the MoMA and then by the time that we got through the MoMA we only had like an hour or so left until the other museums closed so of course like we need to give it the time that it needs and have like a proper visit to each one so we decided to postpone that until next weekend and we headed over to Soho first we got boba of course and then we headed over to Soho and just kind of like window shopped because we were gonna shop, but then everything closed at six. <laughs> Basically, we did everything really late. And so we ended up walking around, getting some macarons at Lauderay, and then ended up in Chinatown, which was really nice at night, and got some food over there. All in all though, it was such a really good day. Like Sundays are my favorite days. I feel like I say this all the time, but that's because it's true. Like I love a Sunday and it's because I do, I feel like I do a lot on Sundays and I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that I got to spend time with my, with my cousin and I'm so happy that we were just running around the streets of New York and in the subway and just like, I don't know, it was just so much fun. As you can tell that I am still on such a high. So I feel like not only is it New York that makes me feel this way, I think traveling in general makes me feel this way. And I have been traveling for about like, it's gonna be four months now. And that just, I don't know, it feeds my soul, you know? Sometimes you have to listen to that and I'm not sure how much longer I can sustain this, probably not much longer, but all I can say is that I am really enjoying the present and I'm really taking advantage of this time that I am free like a bird. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much for watching and I hope that you liked it, but I will see you in the next video.